Angelina Jolie is perhaps the most high profile patient to recently undergo a mastectomy to reduce her genetic risk of breast cancer. Leslie Mouton has details on a recently published study that looks at a new technique to rebuild the breast, which claims to have better cosmetic results than traditional reconstruction. This patient video demonstrates animated deformity, a problem that can occur after reconstruction when breast implants are placed under the chest muscle. When they contract the muscle, it distorts the implant and distorts the chest wall. Elizabeth Hopkins tested positive for the BRCA2 gene mutation, which significantly raised her risk for breast cancer. I have a long history of breast cancer on my paternal side. I lost my father, and my father lost his mother. As a mother of a young child, Elizabeth opted for a double mastectomy. She became a patient of plastic surgeon Dr. Hilton Becker. Surgeon after surgeon that I went to wanted to do the modified radical mastectomy incision, which is a horizontal incision, and I didn't want to look like I had a mastectomy done. A vertical incision is used to remove the breast tissue while sparing the nipple and surrounding skin. An adjustable saline implant is placed on top of the chest muscle, and it's held in place by mesh or a dermal graft. I've seen in the patients that I've done, they go home the next day, they have very little pain, and the end cosmetic result is excellent. My breasts look better now than they did before I had the operation. And Elizabeth avoided this kind of deformity, making a tough choice more tolerable. The study involved 31 patients followed for an average of two years. Results show a low complication rate. However, two patients did need to have their implants removed. Doctors say longer-term follow-up is needed. Leslie Mouton, KSAT 12 News.